and I'm from New Delhi, India. Since I was 15, it's been on my bucket list to go for a solo trip to Europe. Now, Bollywood, in part, is to blame for this. These movies have made a Euro trip every Indian's dream. So this year, I finally saved up the money and took off to live my dream. So here is Indian girl backpacking in Europe. about 15 to 20 minutes back and now I have to figure out a way to get to my hostel so I'm trying to look for a bus stand I changed the sim in my phone and this is gonna be exciting I'm so excited ah! <laughs> I just got off the bus stop and the bus station is called Rijix Museum. I really don't know if I'm saying it right. So that museum that behind me and I finally figured out on Google Maps where my hostel is. So it's walking distance from here so I'm gonna walk it. And this city is so gorgeous guys. It's like a fairy tale town with people riding cycles all around. It's so pretty. So according to maps, I am one minute away. I do see a hostel board ahead of me and oh my god guys, I cannot get over how pretty this place is. It's ridiculous. Like all the buildings are so pretty and oh, I think that's it. I am staying at Flying Pig Uptown Hostel and I see the board. Yay, I can't contain it. I'm so excited. You've been on my mind all the time obsessed. checked into the hostel and it's so cool and my room is on the third floor I'm sharing it with eight different people and since I'm carrying my own luggage I'm kind of dying this is a good reminder Hey, so I am in my dorm room now. The system here is that there are what eight bunk beds in each room and it's a mixed room so it's not like it's only for girls only for boys so I'm staying with a mixed crew and this one is my bed. Took me a while to like set everything up. When I just entered the hostel I was really nervous you know because I saw so many different kinds of people and I didn't know who I can go up and say hello to but people are really nice. So I have made a friend in my room and we both went and rented me this bike and we were riding around for quite a while so our hostel is right next to Wandel Park. This is Wandel Park. So I'm gonna go on another bike ride and probably find some food so let's go. If it's written in the stars, I guess it's really meant to be. I am in a place called Wandel Park right now. I hope I'm saying it right. So it's this huge park very very close to my hostel. Uh, 30 seconds walk from my hostel and it's huge and I've been cycling around for about an hour. So there's so many cafes also inside the park. Also there's so many people who are jogging, cycling, walking their dogs. It's just so nice. Also the weather is so nice right now. And even though I'm cycling alone right now, I don't for a second feel like a loner or you know feel like I'm getting bored alone I just it's such a happy feeling oh oh my god I'm having such a good time So it is day two in Amsterdam and this has been such an eventful day. So I started off with breakfast, free breakfast at the hostel where I made one friend 
and then I set on off for a walking tour. And I met three girls there, all of them British, and I also met another boy who was an American. So it's day two in Amsterdam and I have Rebecca, Georgia. We're in the main, main square, so we're gonna go visit all the fun places in Amsterdam today. adventures together we uh, walked around a bit we went to the sex museum one to me thank you we also went for a canal tour This is like the best part about traveling. I've made four sets of friends in two days. It's so cool. Hey, so it is day three in Amsterdam, my third day in this hostel, and it is raining today. So now my plan is to go to the park see a museum and mostly chill. I have my ukulele, I'm gonna play. Let's go seize the day. The park is pretty much just all wet so I don't think I can find a place to sit. I was thinking that maybe I should just go back to the hostel because there's nothing to do in the park. Then I realized why, like I don't have a deadline. So I'm just gonna keep walking and I'm just gonna explore the streets in the city. It's probably find a cafe. Walking around for about 10 minutes, I've reached this square which I've never been to before after walking around here for two days. It's so easy. now and I really want to go see the I Amsterdam sign so I have put it on navigation it's only an eight minute walk so it should be good so this is the system they have to cross the road oh, reminds me of the Delhi Metro oh there it is I can see it right there it's written in the stars I guess it's really meant to be Hey guys, so today is day 4 in Amsterdam and so I got up quite late in the morning because I went out for a party last night which was absolutely insane. It was so much fun. I haven't danced so much in so long. So I was actually just about to head out when I realized that oh crap today is Friday and I need to upload a video so I had to come back to my room and make sure all of that is sorted. Still have 22 minutes to go. Alright, work's done, let's go. How the way things are, your love is gotta hold on. Okay, so before we start today, I thought I'd tell you guys a few facts about the cities. Fact number one, so the city is built on a swamp and there are a lot of canals and over 900 bridges in the city and that's why the houses over here are a little bit crooked or tilted to one side. Okay, fact number two, half the city uses cycles as transport. The cyclists go so fast sometimes, they're actually a little bit dangerous and scary. Okay, on the agenda today is to return this bike. Okay, there we are. I want to return the bike. Are you from Nepal? No. Uh, India. So, okay. India, yeah. Alright, okay. You can use this car. Thank you. The bike's gone. I'm sad actually. I'm never going to do this again. So, moving on to fact number three. 
people drive on the right side of the road here. Pretty different. It got me a while to get used to. Since I couldn't visit Rijks Museum properly yesterday because my battery ran out, I'm here today. This is it. I'm standing right in front of it. So I'm gonna go inside. It looks gorgeous. Like this street that I'm on is my favorite street. and I miss them by just a second. I got this hat and I got a pair of shorts from there. The fact number five or four about the city is that marijuana here is legal. Now, I know Amsterdam is famous for that. So places where you actually get marijuana are called coffee shops, which is quite funny. Hold on. out of the hostel and I'm so sad. I'm gonna miss the city so much. I'm on the train to Berlin. It'll take me like what, like six hours or something to get there. And oh my god, like to get to the train station because they don't have any signs in English, I almost missed my train. But now I'm on, so that's good. And I guess this is the end of episode one of the series. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys in Berlin. Bye. in this part of the train because I have no idea where to go and I don't even know if this is the right station Where am I gonna put this in my suitcase? Abhi you're killing me Meko mat dikhaachi cheeze